Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through restricted Turing machine. So Turing machine with a semi-infinite tape. So here the length of the tape is semi-infinite. So what is semi-infinite? The first question. So if this is the normal tape, if we break it into two parts and we rotate this left part 90 degrees or 180, 180 degrees and we attach it here. So T0 and T1. So here this tape can move only the right movement and the below tape can do only left movement this can do only right movement this can do only left movement fine here q will be denoting with q states two states and the left right will be denoting with two states that is nothing but for this is for t1 this is for t2 tape 1 tape 2 fine okay so this is nothing but with semi infinite tape so we are also having multi stack also so here stack acts as a tape guys basically fine so for it is also possible in that way and we can also have a counter machine so push into stack the same concept of stack is used here also so push into stack at that time you will be incrementing the counter while you are popping out you will be decrementing the counter so i told you in one uh, in one in the problem i think so while discussing problem so there is no counter basically in turing machine so by applying this we can add a counter but anyway, even you do any kind of stuff to Turing machine, the efficiency will not increase. It give, it takes the same amount of time that is taken by a normal Turing machine. So offline machine, it has two tapes. One is offline. One tape can read and write. That is, for example, we can, sorry, read or write. It can do only a single operation. Guess I forgot. That is nothing but a printer. And the other tape we can read and write in which we will be updating the values and we will be inserting. It's like a queue or a list. Okay. And the last type is linear bounded automata, which we have discussed, which we will be discussing in future. So linear bounded automata means it will be having a particular fixed length. So here the length is three. So it can be stored in that. So if you want the exact definition, I think I have wrote in the next chapter. Just give me a second. Okay. A linear bounded automata is a multi-track non-deterministic Turing machine with a tape of some bounded finite length. So here there is a fixed length. So length is equals to function of length of initial input string with some constant. So limited plus head not allowed to move beyond the length. If this is the length, it can move here to here only. It cannot go here. So that's the situation. So if you want a small diagram, this will be the diagram. End end the left end marker, right end marker. So in this way it is used. So I hope everyone got a small idea on, on the fourth unit guys for this. The fourth unit completes in almost 10 tutorials, I think so in just 10 videos. So even the fifth unit is also a smaller unit that will also be completed in almost 10 tutorials. So let us move to the next, next set of lectures. Thank you. Thanks for watching.